appreciate it. I think um, you know we were, you know, we, we went back and we were looking at Indianapolis. They were, you know, really playing extremely hard. They were in a lot of close games, so you know, we were really focused during this week. I thought the players did a good job coming back. We were on the road for two straight games, so it's always good to come back home. And you know, the crowd was a, a big part of it. You know, and helping our team. You know, when we were on the field, I thought that you know, obviously. Um, when the game started and we deferred, you know, we get to stop and, you know, then we go out there offensively and we start, you know, we, we move the ball and, you know, made a decision to go with the, the fake punt, you know, early in the game, just kind of get us going, um, you know, and it got us a big play and the result was, um, you know, a touchdown on that drive, which I thought was uh, important to, to get ourselves, you know, started fast. I thought that, you know, the difference offensively and, and what we've done, I really think the quarterback had a, an excellent game. He really played well. I thought our receivers made some some really good strong catches, you know, good hand catches, which um, is always good to see, you know, from Mercedes to uh, to Cole to Marquise's, you know, great catch. Uh, so again, a little disappointed, obviously, you know, great with the win in the third quarter. You know, it was the focus this week, winning the third quarter, which was three and one, getting ourselves ready to go into this fourth quarter, you know, of the season with an opportunity. And then, um, you know, from the defensive side. You know, again, we gave up a lot of yards rushing. We still got to, you know, work on that, making sure of the focus. But we're, we're able to get the takeaways. You know, Calais, obviously, I, I was just told by Tad, you know, broke uh, a record here, which is, you know, and it, it's, you know, I know individually his name's going to go on it, but, you know, you can't, you can't get those things unless those guys in the back end are covering. You know, they did an outstanding job there. I thought that Blair Brown stepped in, did a nice job for us. I thought that Puzz did a nice job for us in nickel. I thought Puzz made some really big time plays out there. You know what I'm saying? And some of those uh, one on one tackles, which aren't um, until you're out there trying to do it, it's not the, not the easiest thing to do. Uh, but he came up big for us. And then um, pretty much that's it. You mentioned the uh, receivers, tough game last week. How much do you think they can uh, build some confidence out of this game today? Yeah, you know, we got some young guys. I mean, uh, you know, the two young guys are out there, you know, Cole and Westbrook, you know, and, and Westbrook had some good catches. He, you know, he had the, the drop of one or two. I'm not sure right now off the top of my head. But um, I think those things, Ryan, really help, you know, just keep playing, keep going, keep trying to make plays. I thought the quarterback put the ball in some good spots today. You know what I'm saying? Where they're able to catch it. So I think it's something that they definitely, you know, uh, can build on and just keep going with. Could you sense from the outset today that your team had a little bit more juice, a little bit more energy than last week? I just think when we come, I, I just think that's when, when people say like home field, you know, advantage and stuff like that, and, and they come out there and the crowd's, you know, into it and ready to go, you know, that, 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 picks, that picks it up now. So. Um, you know, I give I give a lot of credit to the fans that were out there, and then you know, but make no mistake, this team has done a good job. You know, as far as bouncing back, you know, I don't know. I mean, I guess that's for lack of a better term. You know, that's what they've done. They they really came back. You know, after last week, they were really focused. We really had a good week of practice. You know, and really prepared ourselves to be in a good situation. Doug, how much of the offensive game plan was predicated on the Colts secondary versus trying to? Get Leonard Fournette going, and, and his just having his, his injury too, also maybe being a little bit of a factor as well. Um, going into it, we, you know, again, we've, we've got to be ready. We've got to show that we, we can throw the football, you know, obviously from some of the things that have gone on during the year. So, um, you know, I think probably a little bit of both, Gene, you know what I'm saying? I mean, as far as what's going in there, we thought we had some, some good matchups on the outside. We thought we were able to, to you know, do a good job, but you know it goes back to the same thing. You got to be able to protect. I thought we did a good job protecting the quarterback today. I thought we we needed to do a better job running the football. What does it, what does it mean to, to sweep a division opponent the way you guys have against the Colts? Um, you know, I just think about winning the, the division. You know, games. You know, from a year to year basis. You know, I don't. You know, things change so much in this league. It's it's hard, at, but you know, obviously, make no mistake about it. It's right outside. You guys passed it by. I mean, you know, win a division. So, you know, it's important. We still got two more division games left out of the four that we have. So, you know, we're gonna have to do a good job. Doug, three fake punts this year, and one in the preseason. What did you see today? And just talk about that decision to do it. Yeah. Well, I think that this, you know, I, I knew we had, you know, we we've worked on it. You know, we work on things, and you guys know how I am. I always say, hey, listen, if we work on it, you know, you have to have the ability to call it. Um, I thought it was, you know, I was going back and forth into the game. I was thinking to myself, you know, hey, listen, if we can get us to a two score, maybe a three score, you know, between, you know, strategically thinking about where it was going. And then, 
you know, when it came up and I was like, you know, if we don't get something going, it's going to be one of those games where it's going to be really tight. Um, again, being able to, you know, go to the defense and say, hey, listen, this is what I'm thinking of doing. Are you guys okay with it? You know, hey, coach, don't worry about it. Let's go, you know, and, 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 and show that and have a defense. I think it makes it a little bit easier. I'm not going to lie to you because, um, you know, obviously if you look at my past, I'm, I, haven't, I haven't been that way. Doug, how important was it to come out of the half with the, the touchdown drive? And then what did you think of the uh, celebration? I didn't see the celebration, you know, so I, I can't comment on that. And that's, you know, I, I just, you know, as soon as we score, then I'm, I'm on to the next series and, you know, what we have to do. And so I didn't know about that. But I thought, you know, at halftime I told the team, hey, listen, there's two things that I need from this team. I need a better, a better focus about them, and I need us to go and finish this game. So those are the two things that I asked the players for at halftime. Can you talk a little bit about Blake's, uh, particularly his proficiency a little bit on the fade throws, because that's been a problem for him most of his career. <coughs> yeah, I agree with you, Gene. I, I think, you know, I'm not going to talk about, you know, I, I, I can't really comment on the past because I can't, I'm, I'm right now in the present. But I will say that he's been doing a really good job in practice with those balls and, and really put a lot of work into it. And I felt very good with him being able to throw those balls and being able to go over the top. So I'm just, I'm just, you know, you sit up here and you watch a guy work and you watch him, you know, work his ass off and it's, and it's, it's happening in practice. And then, you know, it doesn't always occur during the game. And to have it occur during the game, you know, I think is, uh, is great for, for both him and the receivers because the receivers work extremely hard on that too. Along, the, along that same... Gene, come on. Yeah, that's 50. Of all the people. I'm sorry. Hold on. He has a question right here. I'm, I, I get you. Yeah. Uh, you, tri you talked about it a little bit up front about your receivers and how they've kind of gained the confidence. In your experience as a head coach, whether it be on the pro side or on the college side, is there a certain timetable that, that you give these receivers a chance to, to make themselves known before you say well, it's just not happening or you, you feel like they've worked their way into it? No, I think you've got to gain a trust in practice. I think it's one of those things that you, know, you gain a trust in knowing exactly you know, what you have to do. Um, you gain the trust of the offense. I think that's a big thing. I, I know I spoke about it before. One of one of the responsibilities that we have as coaches, and especially myself as a head coach, is you know n you know not to put anyone out on that field that we don't believe that can get the job done or trust. So I think it comes down to more of that now. Trust them to do the right thing. Trust them that they can make the play and things of that nature, and you go forward there. Would you, uh, along the same lines that, that Gene was talking about with Blake, I mean uh, the fades and all that. But is there something that you saw? This week in practice, he just uh, was more accurate, more uh, forthright, in more command that you said, you know, this guy probably has got something going this week. No, I just, I, I mean, honestly, I've been watching him practice, and I, I knew it was just going to be, you know, a, a, I really felt that it was just a matter of time, whether I was right or wrong in that, you know, that, you know, you see the success in the, in the practice, and you know sooner or later it's going to carry over, or you hope it does. You know, so I was happy to see that, but I did see a lot of that throughout the last couple of weeks in practice, and it's something that I, I think that he's worked extremely hard on. Uh, you mentioned third quarter of the season over. What did you learn about your team over the last four weeks? We got to we got to make sure we have a better focus. You know, I, I really believe that. I, I told the team that. You know, there's there's things there, and you see, you know, when you give up, you know, yardage and things of that nature. And I don't mean to be Debbie Downer again, but you know, just a high focus on every single play. I mean, just doing your job and not trying to cover or do something else. Or maybe you've seen something that, you know, you think you have a tip on something that you haven't really told anyone about yet. You know, and reacting to that. So I always think that the teams that just go out there and play. You just play hard, you play your assignment, and you win your battles, you do well, you know. But if you a lot of other things are going on, you know what I'm saying, and you, you miss anything or bust anything, then obviously things could be, um, you know, you can put yourself in a tough situation. You know, don't feel any pressure. Go out there and play and, and have some fun. On paper, Jack Doyle seemed like a big challenge for you guys, but you guys were able to pretty much shut him down for most of the game. How, how does that speak to your defense, being able to, to hold him to? Uh, you know, I don't, I don't know. If, I don't know how many op actual opportunities, you know, because I think, you know, when the rush started coming a little bit, you know, he was back there a little bit more in the protection aspect of it. So I think he's a heck of a player. He was someone that we were extremely, you know, concerned about. I think, you know, I know that when we were a man, we were going to put Gibson on him. I think, you know, Gibson's one of those guys that's kind of getting lost a little bit on the type of year he's having. You know, he's really playing extremely well in that position. You know, show today, I, t I told him last night, you know, after the team meeting, I grabbed Gippy. I said, hey, Gippy, look, I just want to tell you, I think 
you know, I don't, I don't say this a lot, and, you know, it's one of the things that I try to work on, but I pulled him aside. I said, you know what, you're having a heck of a year now. You really are, and you got to continue to keep playing. And I told him that last night before the meeting, and then, you know, today he comes up and he makes the big play or has a big play, but he's been doing that all year. He's really been doing well. Is a 30 to 10 win worth double baloney, fry baloney? No, I got, you know what's so funny is I got, you know, there's, there's, there's some people in town that I've, I've worked with when, when I was at Syracuse University. One of my former teammates is here and a couple of other people, so my wife's got, uh, she's got all the Christmas crap up, you know, like like boxes are all through the house. So I got to I gotta go out to dinner, and but believe me, it's, it's home. I was thinking about you guys last night. There was a little brown on the bologna, you know, because after a while it gets a little late, and I was like, shit, I'm going to eat it anyway. I don't care. <laughs> Normally I fry it, but I was too damn hungry. I give you some restaurants that serve bologna. Yeah, I know, I know. I, pre I appreciate it. I'm just saying, so when I'm out, just don't give me shit about it tomorrow. <laughs> I appreciate Oh, go ahead, Ryan. I thought he had a good week, you know, but I always get nervous about JP, you know what I'm saying, about, you know, making sure that he practices. He's got, he practices, sees the look. He's got to feel good and do that. So, you know, I gave him a lot of credit, like I said before. And I told the team after the game, you know, a lot of times you don't get a chance, but there's an appreciation for those guys that get, you know, nicked up or rolled this or, you know, rolled an ankle here or there, and then they come back into the game. You know, it's part of the thing that kind of gets left out a lot. <laughs> you know, and, and what you're doing because, you know, you only have a certain amount of reps during the week that you're able to practice. And you want to practice those reps with the guys that are going to be out on the field on Sunday. So that's why I, when we always say, hey, when someone comes in there and replaces someone, you know, especially when they haven't practiced during the week, um, you know, then they did a hell of a job getting themselves prepared because it can get you in trouble quickly.